morning everybody welcome back to another day it is currently friday the 4th of december so day four of vlogmas we're obviously here at work right now we're about to get all of our orders done so essentially what usually happens on friday is we try to get up to date with pretty much as much as we can that means like getting orders out getting orders printed I have to make whatever I can so that I'm kind of up to date and when it comes to the weekend on Monday when we come back in for work I can just do the weekend order and don't have to worry about this week's stuff so that is the goal we have a few things to do but the first thing we need to do is get the cars out of here because it takes up so much space like when I tell you so much space look at this we have to move this car out currently Hal doesn't have his keys because his car died on his battery died on this car but we've got to roll this one out and this one doesn't even move so we usually just have to push it don't we mister don't we mister boy also i'm pretty sure in yesterday's video i told you guys we we're going to show you some logo work we we're doing for someone but i completely forgot anyways this is the logo work right here it's for like this car performance business. I think they do car detailing and stuff as well. It's actually Min's brother's business, but we've been doing a bunch of them. So we finished doing some 50 hoodies last week. We This week, we also finished doing 50 black t-shirts, but we've just still got white t-shirts to go. So hopefully we'll have a little bit more time to be able to get those done today. These are all prepped and ready to go. So this takes honestly the longest part because we have to print it out. We've got to pick it and peel it. We've got to transfer it onto like this special type of uh, material and then measure it onto the t-shirt, press it, peel it off again. It's just a whole ordeal. I think we'll probably show you guys more of the process one of these days during Vlogmas, but that's what's going on today. Getting orders done, getting up to date with as many things as possible. And I think I'll do next time, but I made an Etsy account and I already got two sales on my Etsy account, so I'm so excited about that. So as I said earlier on this morning, I actually made my first Etsy account. So I never really knew much about Etsy. I knew it was a very American based thing. A lot of Americans use it and it's a lot of like handmade gifts and accessories, clothing and all of that stuff, which is really, really cute. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna just give it a go. I'm going to make my own Etsy account because I do like custom embroidery and everything. I think this would be perfect. You're good. You gotta go that way a little bit. Anyways, within the first week of me having my Etsy account, I actually made a sale, which I'm so excited about. I'm actually gonna show you guys. So the person ordered three t-shirts, and of course, as I knew it, they were from the United States as well. So they ordered a two bubble tea t-shirts and a soju t-shirt. And because it's my first order, I've decided to give them some matching bubble tea earrings and soji earrings to go with their t-shirt. I'm super excited. I also yesterday got my second Etsy order, so I'm so annoyed that I didn't do this earlier, but I think it's a good way to continue this little embroidery. Also, what I learned with Etsy as well is you can mark it whether or not if it's a gift or not. So this person marked it as a gift and they had like a custom message and it says Merry Christmas Dumplin. And the reason why it's called Dumplin is because his middle name is Lynn. And look what he ordered, guys. He ordered a dumpling little cute t-shirt. How freaking cute is that? So I'm honestly so excited. I've gotten two orders now in my first week of opening an Etsy store. And I'm like so happy and proud that I've just ventured out to this because it's something that I can just do on my own. I'm gonna learn more about it as well. I wanna learn how to like run the ads and market it better. This was just making sales just putting it up online. The only different thing about Etsy versus we do have an eBay account is you have to pay upfront for your listings and I think it's like 30 cents AUD per listing. I currently only have like seven listings online and the views that I've gotten versus the conversion rate is actually really good. Like 11 people viewed my boba t-shirt and I got two sales from that. Like how bomb is that? So amazing. I'm so, so happy as you guys can tell real excited if any of you guys have an Etsy shop please comment down your names below I'd love to look it up because I found so many new stores and just so many creative things and I just honestly love it like I'm so amazed I've never 
looked at Etsy before. I really feel like I'm so behind on this. <laughs> okay, so for tonight's dinner, I'm being super lazy again. What I did was I actually bought a roast chicken from Woolworths. And can I just say that the price of chicken now has gone up. I swear it used to be like $8 for roast chicken. It's now $10. But I also got how a Asian salad because he's trying to be healthy. Although it is the weekend, I think he can have a little bit of a cheat. I've got some cucumbers here, some avocado and some lettuce because I made myself a sandwich, which I'm pretty excited about. I don't know, excuse this knife, sorry. It's pretty healthy and I don't know why, I was just craving a sandwich and we're about to watch a movie called Rogue City, which I've been wanting to watch for quite some time now. Oops, sorry with the knife. Whoa, oh, oh. Christmas memory. I went for a little scooter ride to uh, Scoopy in uh, the city and it was actually really really fast. We didn't expect to get here that quickly. It only took us like 5-10 minutes I think on the tops. But it was a little good. It's a bit chilly but... I like it. Ride. Oh why are you going that way? Oh, no, no, our, house is that way. our house is this way. Sauce. Also, look at his neon lights. He's like pretending it's not an electric scooter when we go past police because, shh, but we don't have helmets. And he's got flashing lights. <laughs> this is what we went to go get from Scoopy Milk Bar. If you've been watching us for a while, we actually, I actually ordered this during quarantine because like, I don't know, a lot of people were ordering it and I got the mango one, but this is the taro. We've had it since it's been open and it's like a game changer. Can you pour the condensed milk on? So it's got pearls, um, jelly right here. I think that's cr cream. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that condensed milk. And then, let me show you below. Underneath, can you guys see that? That's like taro ice shaved goodness. All right, so you guys already know what time it is. It is time for the advent calendar. We are currently up to day number four. I'm pretty sure, let me just double check. One's been open, three's been open. So yes, number four. Are you guys ready? Honey's currently here. Biggie's on this side, hidden away from the camera. Let's see what we have. Oh, we've got so many things in today's little advent calendar so we've got a mini bark who wants this honey yum yum thank you and we've got so many of the little mini fish things that we got i think two days ago here you go biggie come here shake shake good boy anyways we're going to end the video here today's notification comment shout out goes to Rimuru Slime. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that right. Rimuru Slime. Thank you so much for commenting on our previous video. As always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. We will see you guys tomorrow. It is going to be a Saturday and we've got a couple of things planned. So it should be a pretty exciting video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're staying well and happy holidays. Bye.